I, I did a lot of research on, you know, other interviews you've done. And, um, and I sort of, one of the things that really stood out to me <clears throat> is your passion behind, uh, your track American attraction. Mm, yeah. You said a quote in there that, uh, in, in a, in a previous interview about, um, you know, how there's so much attra- distraction in, in the real problems in the world. Um, yeah. You know, Trump firing people. Uh, his uh, homophobic and and uh, um, you know his rants on his tweet Twitter, um, right? Yeah, sort of the, the politics of distraction. Yeah, in 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 the meantime, there you know he's green lighting oil, you know natural gas, coal, uh, weapon manufacturers are right. at the highest, um, and rolling back already, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know. Uh, rolling back environmental uh, policies that are yeah, being put. Right. Um, the, the one thing that really gets me with that is, I mean, that's 100% true in, in us as, you know, um, as Americans, it seems like we rather get mad at a homophobic tweet or him firing somebody in his cabinet than the real problems that affect our world. Um, when, yeah. you're, when you're writing that song, like, what was the the major influence besides those? Like, what was the major mm-hmm. message you wanted to get out? Well, you know, the, I think all of them, all of these issues matter, right? Yes. So it's not it's not that the homophobic stuff or the racist stuff doesn't matter because it does, but. It's the idea that we are trying to say to people, hey, there are other things, too. I understand why the sexist, racist, Islamophobic, bigoted, xenophobic, (laughs) nationalist, I understand why those things resonate with people in such a hard way because they're so personal. You know, and for me, for example, there are African Americans in my family. You know, I have a lot of gay friends. I have trans friends. I clearly there are women in my family. Um, the uh, you know our, our guitar player is is marrying a woman from a Muslim family. Like when I talk to these people, and they say to me, you know, as a result of Donald Trump, I feel unsafe. You know, I feel uncomfortable in my own skin. Uh, one of my friends, and I used this line in, in the song Casualty on the record, he said to me, you know, when he's Muslim, and he said, because of my last name, I feel scared now when I have to deal with law enforcement or when I fly. So, and I think that those people have a right to be scared. I, I, they should be scared. I mean, you look at Charlottesville, for example, and you realize, like, okay, you know, their fears are justified. Um... So, uh, it, it, I think all of us are in touch with somebody from one of these groups that Trump persecutes, and we understand these people on a human level. So, when he goes to those, when he scapegoats and persecutes those people, I think it's natural for people to most gravitate their, their um, disgust with Donald Trump in those areas. Um, what, what blew my mind and the reason that we were were influenced to write American Attraction was because we realized that in just a a number of months, Donald Trump has ruled back 30 years of environmental regulations in the U.S. And, you know, our planet is racing towards uh, a climate disaster. We don't have time to be rolling back environmental regulations that are going to make our oceans more acidic, that are going to um, warm our planet in a way that it's not going to be hospitable for human life anymore. And um, at the same time, as he's he's doing that, um, you know, you you just look at who who are the biggest winners as a result of Donald Trump 
becoming president. And, you know, the, the first, one of the very first things he did when he became president is he went to Saudi Arabia, you know, uh, the, one of the biggest oil producing nations in the world. And he uh, did a $110 billion arms deal. And, you know, anti fight started as an anti-war ban, you know, like, so... <laughs> I all of all of these issues um, really struck a chord with me, and I and I realized like it is important to care about the, the human issues that that touches on a personal level. But it's, we we have to realize there's other issues that are taking place, and it's important for us to be aware of those. 